Hi everybody, I'd like to talk to you today about accelerometers. Accelerometers are really cool little sensors that are in our phones, smartphones and uh, sensor devices and give us a lot of cool information about the physical world, but they don't really measure acceleration. And I'll show you what I mean. So imagine if you're standing here holding your smartphone or other device that has an accelerometer in it. Now accelerometers are very small these days. They sit inside chips. They are electromechanical devices which means they have a mechanical component and they have an electronic component. And if we were to look with a microscope and get right down inside one of these chips we might see something that looks well nothing like this. But this is my expert expert uh, rendition of a simplified accelerometer. It includes two dark blocks on the ends, which are supports. We'll say those are the things that it's sitting on. There's a bridge, my technical term for the part across the top, a metal piece of metal across the top. And uh, there's a diving board below it, um, we'll call that, another technical term clearly, uh, a, a, a part that's supported on one side by the support. So the bridge part across the top is supported on both sides, and the diving board is only supported on one side. Now, if you think about as this is sitting in your hand and uh, it, it's it, you're just standing still with it, you're not moving at all, what's happening? Well, gravity is pulling down at 9.8 meters per second squared. And so it is it is pulling down at a, at a constant rate of acceleration. And um, meanwhile, your hand is holding the phone, which in turn is holding the supports, which is holding the bridge and one side of the diving board. Now, if you think about it, this diving board thing, it actually has a little mass, a little weight on the end of it that makes it very sort of bendy. And so the, the gravity will pull down on that end that's not supported by the supports, and you'll get one side that's being pushed up by your hand with the supports, and this other side that gravity is pulling down, it's going to bend away from the bridge a little bit. Now, the way that they, they've they uh, got these set up, they can actually measure with capacitance the very small movement of that teeny tiny little diving board very accurately. And with that, they can measure acceleration. Um, and, and so uh, that is what is actually being measured by the accelerometer. So while you're sitting still, while it's sitting still in your hand there, you would get one G of acceleration that's shown on your accelerometer. Now, Acceleration normally is a, a change in speed, and this idea that we're standing still and we're showing acceleration is kind of confusing because it's not really acceleration. It's what an accelerometer measures, and I don't really know exactly what to call it. I just it's, I call it acceleration because, well, it's an accelerometer. It should be measuring acceleration, I guess, but it's measuring this other stuff. It's measuring the bend in this diving board thing, and so what happens is Suppose you wanted to throw your phone in the air. Now, we do not, at Digital Diner, we do not think this is a good idea. In fact, we think this is a bad idea. But let's just suppose we go through the intellectual exercise of imagining that you throw your phone into the air. Well, as you throw, you're moving your hand up. And so that's going to increase the... Um, the, what's the, the, the difference between the support that your hand is giving on those two supports and the amount that gravity is pulling down on that diving board. And so we're going to measure more acceleration on the accelerometer. Okay, the, the diving board is going to bend more. And in this case, it's uh, up around 6 Gs that we're, we're measuring as this uh, is being thrown up um, into the air. And then the second that your hand lets go of your smartphone, um, well, first of all, you're asking for trouble. But let's just say, once again, this is this is just for, for the sake of argument that you decide to throw it up in the air. As soon as you let go of that thing, the supports and the diving board are being acted on by gravity exactly the same amount. And so the, the, the diving board there is going to straighten out and just stay constant and the same at zero Gs. Right? There's no difference between one end of the diving board and the other end of the diving board. They're both floating free in space, flying through the air, aside from a little effect of, of wind resistance. We'll, we won't worry about that for the sake of this argument. Let's just say it's floating through the air, um, and it, even as it reaches the top, nothing has changed there. There's nothing stopping the phone and not stopping the, the diving board. Right? There's nothing that's, that's holding onto the supports but not the diving board, and that's what it would take to measure something in the accelerometer. And um, 
as we said, this is a bad idea, uh, just to show that, we'll say that as it comes back down, it lands on your head. Okay, so now your head is exerting a force to those supports on either side of the bridge and one side of the diving board. And it's a significant one. In this case, looks like about seven Gs worth of uh, acceleration that we are going to measure because of the bend of the diving board when, it, when the supports stop because your head stops the phone, but the diving board wants to continue down, right? Because gravity's pulling it. It's going to start bending a lot. And then eventually it's going to swing back and maybe wiggle a little bit. As you can see in the, if you have very high resolution on your video, you can see a little wiggling back and forth of the, di of the diving board. And then it levels out again at 1G and you have a bump and a phone on your head. So you feel rather silly, which is why you really shouldn't do this because we, we don't want anybody to feel silly. So... Anyway, this gives you an idea of exactly why when you throw a phone in the air or any device with an accelerometer in it, you can sense how long it is actually in the air. And during that time that it's in the air, it turns out that gravity is acting on it in a very predictable way, which means you can calculate with just a little bit of math, you can calculate exactly how high that device has gone because by spending, a, assuming that it is caught at about the same height that it's released, uh, the amount of time in the air will tell you how high it must have gone with gravity acting to constantly change its speed from going up to going down and then eventually stopping. Anyway, I hope this gives you some idea of a little bit of how accelerometers work and how to measure the height of something uh, that's thrown in the air that has an accelerometer on it and don't throw your expensive cell phones in the air because you will break them or you will hurt somebody with them and it's a bad idea so don't do that but <laughs> I think the little science experiment is kind of fun. I hope you do too. Thanks a lot for listening.